And it's all going to be boiled around the shop trying to sell the customer something that the customer perceived they didn't need. And here's the sad part. We as an industry have conditioned our customers to say no to the big R and that R is the word recommendations. So what I'm going to challenge you to do is this, and it's a hard one to do. Get the word recommend or recommendation out of your vocabulary. And here's why. That word is a very lukewarm word. There's no impact with it. So what I'm going to have you replace it with is the word concern. So check this out. There's a mental thing, game that happens with the words that you choose. If I go to my cardiologist and I had some tests done, I was on the treadmill yesterday and I go to his office and he looks at my report and he goes, oh, Mr. O'Neill, yeah, you're 49 now. I see you're somewhat active, a little bit of stress. Okay, your labs were a little bit high, but here's what I recommend. Uh, stop eating fast food for lunch, uh, eat a salad here and there. And then I recommend that you just kick up your cardio uh, an extra two times per week and uh, you should be all right. I am going to leave that office. I'm going to go to In-N-Out and get a double-double fries and a shake because I'm starving and it tastes so good. I'm, I don't care what the doctor said because it didn't have any impact. Now, I go to the same, I go to a different doctor and he says, Mr. O'Neill, have a seat. Um, reviewing your labs and I have, I have a couple of concerns that we need to go over. And right there, the difference in the word that he chose, recommend versus concern, is going to stop me. And now, instead of going to In-N-Out and having a cheeseburger, I'll probably go to Chop Shop and have a salad on the, on, for lunch because I want to be healthier. Because the doctor is now concerned about my health and it's not a recommendation. Mm -hmm.